Most dogs I know have two bowls, one for water and one for food. Ellie also has two bowls, one for water, the other to sit in. The truth is that Ellie does not have a food bowl because we always feed her by hands or by toys or just throw it up in the air and let her catch it. Sometimes she catches it and sometimes she misses. I've always wondered statistically how well Ellie can catch the treat. Here's the plan. These are 50 kibbles and this is 15 Hundred. Over the period of 30 days, every single one of the 1500 pieces of food will be thrown up in the air and Ellie has to catch it. And in the spreadsheet, I recorded one as a successful catch and zero as a miss. So day one is 29 out of 50 and day two is 33. And then 35, 33. 1500 is a decent size for me to calculate a reliable average. And 30 days is also enough for me to see if there's any trend for improvement improvement in accuracy after daily practice. I accumulated a massive amount of videos and a huge spreadsheet. I gladly handed over the spreadsheet to my wife who has a master's degree in statistics and let her do the magic which is to calculate the average. And here's the result. Ellie catches about 33 out of 50 comparing the 10 day average at the beginning to the 10 day average at the end. There's not a significant difference. I do not have a master's degree in statistics but to my very untrained eyes, I can see that there's a huge difference between her bad days and good days. So on Alice's good days, she was calm, she was focused, she was like, I have no idea what I did to deserve so many treats. On the bad day, she was more like, why the heck do I need to jump just for a one kibble? So I suspect that the lackluster results come from a lack of motivation. In other words, if I increase the motivation, is there going to be an increase in performance? I decided to to extend my experiment for 10 more days, still 50 cables each day. And this time I'm using a cable that is five times larger than the previous one. This thing is huge. Day 31, guess what? A record was born. 46 out of 50. Day 32, 50 out of 50. In the next three days, 46, 49, 47. Okay, I've got to stop. First of all, if I keep feeding her like this, she is going to grow into a panda. Second of all, the results is crystal clear. The larger food was certainly more enticing. Well, it's not a surprise that size matters. And it knows that. Check my Instagram video here. Okay, size matters. But is it because a larger size makes the cable more attractive or it makes it easier for Ellie to track the motion or both? These are two very different reasons. So now I extended my experiment another time. This time I'm using a small treat that has the same size of the small cable, but it is high in value, not a regular cable. 50 pieces of chicken each day. Same small size, much more delicious. Now is the moment of truth. Are you ready for the results? 46, 41, 45, 49, 48. Now this is getting really interesting but confusing. If we sum this up in the graph, we have the small cable low in value and low in size. The average hit rate is about 33 out of 50. When we use a high value small size treat, the hit rate is 46 out of 50. The value of the food matters. When we use a low value large size cable, the hit rate improves to 48 out of 50. It seems that the size matters. What would be a high value and a large size reward? Introduce the blue ball. Well, Ali loves the ball so much that she refused to give the ball back to me. She wouldn't trade it for a treat. Overall, the experiment was 10 days longer than I originally planned, but certainly there was some good insight. The attractiveness of the treat really has a big impact on the performance of Ali. In the comments section in my previous videos, many people asked me what I feed Ali to train her. To be honest, I just fed the small cables you saw in the video. I used that because that's how I feed Ali. Well, 
or train her. Now it is clear that attractiveness of the treat does have a huge impact on the performance. So next time when you train your dog on a difficult task or a new task, be generous about food. Well, dogs are like humans. They will get things done if the price is right. So last question, how well can your dog catch? If you are interested, please test a few treats on your dog and let me know how well they do it. In the comment sections below. And also, if you have other ideas for me to test on Ali, please let me know as well. Subscribe and stay tuned.